Hello and welcome to live radio match commentary of Haven and Waterloo versus Chippenham Town live from Wesley Park. The date is Saturday the 7th of May here and wow, if you are a Chippenham fan today listening into our MXLR broadcast, you better be nervous. It's going to be 90 minutes of entertaining football I hope to see on this watered 3G surface today. But it's going to be a nervous one. Chippenham know what they have to do. They have to win. It's three points or bust for the Bluebirds today. My name's Jamie Oloshinsky. I'm joined by head of Chippenham Town Media, Matt Chappell, for the commentary today. So, Matt, big three points needed for Chippenham Town. What are your thoughts going into the match? Oh, emotions. It's, just, it's absolutely high right now. Three points to the Bluebirds means we're in the playoff eliminator. It's absolutely huge for the club today. And hopefully we can get the win today. But obviously it be a very tough task. Haven't. They're absolutely high flying currently. It's going to be one of those matches today, I think, Jamie. It absolutely is. And if you listen to our last broadcast at uh, Ebbs Fleet from the Cufflink Stadium a week ago today, I, I mean, I've heard from a number of Chippenham fans that have messaged me online and that I saw at the Hungerford game. They could tell I was very nervous. I mean, it's going to go up an ante or two here, my nervousness in this match. But to move away from that, we need to be proud of the boys, regardless of the result today, as they've already secured, Chippenham have already secured their highest ever finish in the National League South. It was, I believe, 13th before, and they're guaranteed the least, at least 8th position today. They'll obviously want to hunt for higher in the league as they can finish as high as 7th, of course. Haven't, I believe, could have finished as high as 6th if results go their way here and against uh, and the Ebbs, oh, sorry, not Ebbs Fleet, Eastbourne match today. But it's going to be a difficult task for Chippenham Town. Haven't unbeaten in 6 league games and unbeaten in 7 league matches here at Wesley Park today. But Chippenham are also on their best run of form for the season. They're unbeaten in four league games, which is their best since the opening four league games of the season. And Chippenham, too, have a strong away record. They only have two losses away from home against the sides in the top 15 so far. So I think a loss will be avoided. But Chippenham Town, crucially, need more goals than their opponents today. And certainly, if we're looking at the lineup, it's more positive than last week as Spencer Hamilton returns back in from Landon Golding, who put in certainly a very strong performance. And we're underway now as Haven and Waterloo will straight away immediately send the ball long as Manny Duku jumps over the top of Danny Greenslade. Kieran Parso gets in there with a the header and Joe Hanks flicked on. The ball's back in towards Russ now. Santos flicks it on to Jordan Young who's got five Haven players ahead of him and he goes back towards Santos. who's back in towards Greenslade who sends long and the first misplaced pass of the afternoon down in Hampshire falls in the way of Chippenham Town and Danny Greenslade. Manny Duku is remonstrating with the linesman on this near side as he feels... There was a foul against him up against this lady. It's really shoved there uh, by Rendell, but the referee doesn't seem to be in interested at all. And Chippenham have conceded a throw in to be taken by Josh Pashley. It's just in front of Matt Coop's technical area at the minute. One change for both sides. Obviously, Spencer Hamilton coming in for Lander Golding, and I think it was um, Scott Rendell's returned so far as Doku has a clearance off of Russ. And the ball bounces out for another Haven't a Waterlooville throw in on the right-hand side. So about five minutes gone, Matt. Where do you think it lies at the moment? Sorry, sorry, sorry yeah. Oh, wait, as I'm just going to break as Scott Wright, uh, Tommy Wright, sorry, still has the ball and delivers it in left-footed. It's bounced into the far post. It's headed there on the left-hand side. I couldn't see who made a connection with it. It was a nice ball in there by Josh Pasley. And Randell flicked it on. I think it was Manny Doku who was there at the far post. And it was another header for Haven't a Waterlooville that just went wide. So Haven't... Clearly in the ascendancy at the minute, don't you think, Matt? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, obviously that, that obviously Duku 27. He's been uh, he's, he's been on fire this season, hasn't he, for, for them home side. So you know, be very very intense. Chippenham can't keep the ball with Santos as it's just bounced off of Tommy Wright, and Chippenham cannot keep the ball at the moment. Seems to be how Ebb's fleet were playing in the opening 25 minutes or so in our commentary this time last week, but at the minute it's going in the way of the Bluebirds wearing burgundy today. Ball forward by a haven't defender that comes to nothing is shepherded by Will Richards. As here goes Santos now, lays it off sideways, just towards Mayhew, Chippenham keeping the ball well, out towards Hamilton, takes a bit of a poor first touch but just about keeps the ball in the advanced right back position now. Hamilton just keeping it, is he going to think about swinging a cross in up against James Roberts and Hamilton does put it in, Joe Hanks with a nice touch, Joe Hanks goes for the shot but it's just across the face of goal, Santos might get there on the left hand side now, Chippenham just keeping the ball, biggest opportunity so far, here's Santos, plays it towards Bray on the edge of the area but he slips and loses his footing, so unlucky for Alex Bray, we've seen him score from a similar position against Oxford, as haven't have the ball forward now as Rendell can't quite get there and it's in towards Henry who could keep the ball up, but a big chance for Chippenham there. Santos just had, the, sorry, Bray just had the ball on the edge of the area. 
but just lost his footing as I saw before the maps. They haven't a Mortaluville ground staff watering the artificial surface we have here. And I was told by um, media staff here is to just make the pitch a bit more slippery because that's the way Haven't likes to play. They like to play it on the floor. And in recent weeks, that's exactly what Shippenham have liked to do. So it will suit both sides. It certainly didn't suit Alex Bray when he found himself slipping on the floor. Because that was nice work from Spencer Hamilton who just bounced the ball off of a Haven't defender and Shippenham have themselves another throw in. And we're seeing a bit of an injury. He's back up on his feet, but he doesn't look to see seem to be running as healthy as he has been before. And Bray has gone down to the floor. As Jordan Young picks it up well, but it's then fouled. No, says the referee. So they're still going forward. Alex Bray has got himself back onto his feet, walking rather gingerly though. And now Santos has it on this left hand side. Santos still going, brought down by Manny Duku. Yes, says the referee. And I'm just keeping an eye on Alex Bray, I think. The Chippenham number 11 is going to have to come off and that is not what we want to see in this game so far. I think is it Noah Coppin that's going to be getting stripped off and ready. But Alex Bray's gone down, he seems to be holding his hamstring. So it's not a good sign for Chippenham, only 13-14 minutes into this match. And we might have to be making an enforced substitution. Not what we want to see. Alex Bray can unlock a team so well like he has done this season against Oxford to claim us three precious points. And it doesn't look like he's going to be able to continue. Can't see who's down there warming up. It seems to be Mo Dabre, Noah Coppin and Ola Lawala who are all warming up rather vigorously than they were before. So it's going to be either of them three to come on. I'm sure that's what's deliberating through Gary Horgan's head at the minute. As facts on the Chipman players? Um, ooh, I'm trying to think now. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Jordan Young's Scottish, apparently, according to uh, Wikipedia. Yeah, actually, Jordan Young and both Callum Gunner. Uh, Callum Gunner was certainly born in Scotland. Jordan Young has played uh, uh, Scotland international youth games, I believe. So we do have some youth inter uh, youth experience. Uh, Havana Waterloo do have youth experience. However, he's not here today. It's uh, uh, Sam Magri normally, but from the Maltese international, isn't playing today. But he is, uh, has a multi, I believe, seven or nine caps. But it is going to be the first substitution of the match. It's a forced one. And so unlucky for Alex Bray. I think it may have been he pulled his muscle when he slipped. It might not have been the watery pitch. But it's going to be a substitution. So it's Alex Bray who's making way. But Mo Dabre is certainly going to be coming on. So I don't think it's a weakening of the Chippenham side. Mo Dabre, he's got, he's got one goal this season. In that big goal against Billericay Town. And he's going to be coming where he hopefully can be the key to unlock this Haven and Waterlooville defence on loan from Swindon, who also played today. I'm sure many of you will be keeping a keen eye on their West Country results as well. But it's going to be Joe Hanks to take this as Alex Bray looks to be a bit upset as he takes his place on the bench all the while consoling him. But it's Mo Dabre who's going to have to step up to the plate with this final 75 minutes. Thank you very much to the 60 of you who are now in the mix of our chat. Thank you very much. And you'll be listening to this free kick eagerly. It's going to be Joe Hanks on this left-hand side. Going to swing it in. All the defenders are up there. It's just Danny Greenslade back. Hanks now delivers this ball in towards the penalty area. It's headed away by the number seven. Mo Dabra on the effort looks for a dinking ball. I'm not sure whether that was a shot or a cross, really, but it didn't really come to anything for Mo Dabre. So Ross Warner's going to have his second goal kick of the afternoon. Greenslade just hacks the ball player looking for Jordan Young. But it's headed by a haven't defender. Newton there heads it. Now looking for right. And here's the number 21, James Roberts, on this left hand side. Feeds Newton now. Newton's got Riches there with him. Newton plays it in towards Rendell at the far post, but it's over the head of the number 19. Rendell still has the ball in the crossing channel now. Dabre intercepts the ball from passing really well. And now Luke Russ has the ball in Chippenham. Look to just take a breather as actually Luke Russ looks for a long searching ball, but it's only as far there as the number five Ben Schroll. He's wearing a Batman looking mask today. I'm not sure an injury that has caused that, but it doesn't seem to be preventing him from sweeping up the play right now. As the aforementioned number five does pick the ball up again now. Looks for a ball in towards Rendell. He's got Pasley on the right hand side if he finds him, but no, he looks back in towards Schroll. Ball played on this right hand side now. Pasley might just about get there ahead of Greenslade. Pasley's going to deliver this ball in. It's fallen to a half a player who puts the ball wide, but no, it was actually well blocked there by Spencer Hamilton. Probably the biggest chance of this match so far. And it fell to the Haven and Waterlooville number 21, James Roberts, who just about got there. He couldn't get the clean connection, but he couldn't get the clean connection because the Chippen and Body got in the way first. So it's going to be a third corner of this match, a seven. No, sorry, a second. Where's my maths gone there? A second for the Hawks from this same side. I think it is going to be Joe Newton to deliver another ball in. 
Tommy Wright's actually just going over to take this now. I'm not sure in swing or out swing. It's cleared away again by Luke Ross, Luke Ross at the near post as Santos can't quite get there and the ball has it fell with Roberts. But it's good interception by Russ and Dabre. Feeds in towards Santos, who feeds in towards uh, Hanks now. Hanks is going on this right hand side. We know he's got some speed. Hanks still going. Joe Hanks has still got the ball. He's taking a touch. Has he taken it past himself though? As a haven't body throws himself to the floor for some reason. Hanks is cheating with the referee, or is having a word there with a haven't defender who has blatantly really thrown himself to the floor as he knows he's not going to get there. And that's what Joe Hanks is speaking to the referee Del Wooten about, where the referee is just going to have a word with him and Ross Warner's going to be having a free kick. As I, I'm not really sure, I can't remember who the player was that's fallen down there, but he looked to be just throw himself to the floor and because Joe Hanks was in a promising opportunity to carry the ball forward and more forward to Ross Warner's goal, but I think he maybe just got a bit over exuberant in a challenge and Ross Warner's just going to look to have this goal kick. And I'm just going to look to regain my, regain my breath myself as we push over halfway into the second half. Matt, how do you think the rest of this game is going to play out so far? Sorry. How do you think the rest of this game is going to play out? Uh, nerve wracking. <laughs> Certainly a way to put it. It's the opening 25 minutes. I've been, you can probably hear in my voice, I've been a bit more calm than I was in the final couple of minutes against Ebsfleet. But so far, we haven't seen any goals here. Still nil nil. Having a Waterlooville nil, Chippenham Town nil. Here at Wesley Park, or also known as the Draper Tools Community Stadium. This is broadcast brought to you by Lit Fibre. As Ben Troll's going to be put under pressure by Jordan Young. And Jordan Young is nicked in for Chippenham Town. Is he going to shoot? He's round a player. Jordan Young puts it wide. What an opportunity for the Bluebirds. Oh no for Chippenham Town. Oh, Jordan Young did so well to put Stroll under pressure. And he picked the ball up went inside of another haven't defender and was one on one with Ross Warner but he's put the ball wide oh no big big chance for Chippenham Town and you might hear myself go nervous up on the ante now as I don't want to jinx on the way of the Chippenham skipper as the ball is over hit there by Henry who puts his left arm up in apology towards the striker Jordan Young who couldn't get there and haven't regained the ball with Schroll who sends it long now but again it's only as far as Greenslade who knocks it on but Mayhew does really well to get his body in the way and that's a scything pass there by Luke Russ who's given it towards Santos but Santos takes a bit of a heavy touch and Joe Newton could bring it forward now missed challenge there by Luke Russ and the referee waves play on Newton on this left hand side Newton still going Luke Russ with a perfect challenge however to knock the ball out for a Haven and Waterlooville corner really clear as a rush that was Luke Russ who missed the first challenge on uh, missed the first challenge on Newton to get past, but then managed to sweep up back. Uh, but he's managed to concede himself as a corner and haven't. Are going to have their first corner from the left hand side. Both of theirs so far have been on this right hand side. And it's going to be the number 20, Tommy Wright, to deliver this in. It's his second corner. It's an in swinger for haven't. Is there going to be a signal here at the corner? Doesn't look like it's going to be no signal. In swing and corner, and it's not going to be cleared away at the near post this time. Headed by the number four, Henry uses his arms there to get there. It was Joe Osler, the skipper at the far post, who just about got there. But it was the strong arm. But they're going to need to grab a goal that is plain and simple. They've scored in each of their last four. They're unbeaten in each of their last four. But they need a goal, and they need to crucially hold on to all three points here today. As Santos is getting his shirt pulled all over him by Newton and I think Newton will have to find his way into the book now he gave away a cynical foul against Santos early on in the second half that wasn't a yellow card and he had he had an armful there of Chippenham Town burgundy shirts but Dale Wooten does not seem interested in giving a, giving away a yellow card to the left back but Chippenham now going to have themselves a dangerous free kick on this right hand side of me where I am it's on the right hand side Jordan Young's going to look to swing this in left footed John Young slicks his hair back, all Chippenham defenders back up except Greenslade and Mayhew. This would be a good time to get a goal just after the half-time break. Paul Doswell must have had some choice words for his players at half-time and a goal would mess all of that up now. Come on Chippenham Town. Jordan Young delivers this ball in now. Left-footed, in-swinging ball in, but it's cleared away there by, I think, Tommy Wright. And it's hooked away now. No, here, here goes James Roberts now. James Roberts has got Greenslade and Mayhew there. Tommy Wright gets his up there with him. James Roberts plays the ball, but Santos just about heads the ball. And is Will Henry just going to keep the ball in? Yes, he does. It was a very similar error that we, or nearly a very similar error there that we saw 
uh, absolutely united giveaway for the Will Richards goal, where it's just headed back by a player, and it's Tommy Wright or James Roberts, but neither of the haven't strikers could get there, and that was Will Henry who's just about got there. Henry plays this ball out towards Hamilton, who looks to just flick the ball on with either a combination of his chest or his head, but it's just gone past the chipping them right back and haven't had themselves a throw in that's taken quickly to Osler who goes back in towards Schroll. It looks to be a back four again for Haven in this second half with Osler and Pasley, or Osler and Schroll, sorry, in, in the middle too. And then Pasley and Newton on the right, who've really, the fullbacks have probably been the downfall of Haven so far this game. Pasley has really had the measure on him by Dabre since he came on and Newton was being run around by Santos in that half. Here is Newton who sends the ball forward looking for Rendell now. As uh, Richards does well as Rendell throws himself to the floor, he's not going to get a free kick as Hamilton's inter uh, pass is intercepted there by Newton and McCarthy's going to come forward. 50-50 challenge between Newton and McCarthy and McCarthy's still coming forward. McCarthy gives it out to Roberts on this left-hand side, haven't coming forward now. Roberts left-footed ball, it's bouncing around, it's... Oh, wow! Big, big chance there for Jake McCarthy, who picked the ball up on his right, spun really well, but I think maybe made himself a bit dizzy by spinning around and just slashed the ball wide. I think that is the biggest opportunity that the Hawks have had in this match. Just picked it up, took a nice touch. He had, a, I think, either Will Richards or Kieran Parcell on him, and he just had to slice the ball wide, but big let off in the 52nd minute, I believe. And so far away from a lot of the clubs in our league, a closer game such as haven't today, and with so much to play for, really, I think there's probably well over 100 Bluebirds that have made the journey into Hampshire today. As the ball's fallen with Clifford, who flicks it over Mayhew, and Rendell just about gets there, and Greenslade can get there as well. And here goes Clifford. Clifford knocks the ball in towards James Roberts. Big chance, blocked really astutely there by Spencer Hamilton. It was a nice ball flick through by Clifford, who's his first serious involvement in the match. And James Roberts, who's been really on fire in the opening 10 minutes in this first half, just about got in behind there, but it was a body, a 26-year-old body thrown by Spencer Hamilton there to block the shot from the former Oxford man. And the ball looped over Will Henry's goal. And the first corner for Haven't in this first half is going to be for them. Who is it that's going over to take it? It looks to be Billy Clifford, that the man's going to be over to take it. It was Tommy Wright that was on corner duties for the first half. He's been usurped by the substitute. It's going to be out swinging. There's obviously a number of tall Haven't players. Manny Duku, the pick of the bunch, in there to put his head on things. And the corner comes in as I speak. The ball in there, it's headed away. Santos just about keeps the ball on the edge of the Chippenham penalty area. And Hamilton just hacks away to buy Chippenham some time. Newton heads it well. But only as far as Santos, who's got the ball back at his feet. And gives it back in towards Young, gives it straight back towards Santos. And now Hamilton goes all the way back to Henry. Henry looks back in towards Hamilton. Hamilton just has to clear the ball forward. Russ with a nice header. But Schroll gets there and Dabre puts Schroll under pressure. And Dabre's on the floor, but Schroll keeps the ball well. Ball's back towards Osler. As that's Osler with a poor row clearance there and Hamilton can come forward and nice shielding by Santos to give the ball towards Hamilton. Pass lead just about gets there ahead of Dabre. McCarthy's going to be put under challenge there by Dabre. The ball at the feet now with uh, Doku. Doku lays it off back to Pasley, who's well challenged there by Greenslade. As, uh, here come Haven't now. Doku with an opportunity, blocks and clear. Doku, has he got it again? No. Mayhew hacks the ball clear. Here's Jordan Young, nice first touch clearance. Out towards Santos. Santos, was he fouled? The referee waves play on. Jordan Young coming on this right hand side now. Jordan Young still going firm, challenge though by Tommy Wright, who just about gets there. And Jordan Young feels he was fouled there, but I think it was just a strong challenge by Tommy Wright. And that's it flicked away though by Will Richards. And Will Richards feels his ankle a bit. No, he doesn't. He just goes to put his shoe back on. Kieran Parcell looks for a long touch and ball out towards Hamilton now. Hamilton has to head it straight up into the air to avoid it going out. Roberts can only give it as far as Santos. Santos goes for a curving effort. It was one of those Alfie Santos efforts from that kind of range that I think he was aiming for the top of the corner. He hit it sweetly, but just not with enough direction or really pace to trouble Ross Warner. It was straight at the hands of the Haven't number one. And that's the biggest opportunity for the Bluebirds in this first half. As the wind starts to pick up here in Hampshire, as my notes are flying all across my desk, is as the ball flicked on there by Manny Duku. As Stefan Payne puts Will Henry under pressure, 
when Henry clears the ball looking for Santos, but Newton's going to win that header. He's going to win that header, but it's going to go further and further backwards in towards that haven't half. And Young is going to take this throw in quickly in towards Santos, back in towards Young. Jordan Young has got this on his left foot. He's poked it really nicely through to Danny Greenslade. Danny Greenslade, left footed, going towards that box. Oh, and the ball's bounced all over the place there. It was a left footed cross, and I'm not sure if Jordan Young got any sort of touch on that. He didn't get a perfect connection on it if he did, but it just sort of evaded Ross Warner, who got a hold of it, but then dropped the ball. It fell towards Joe Hanks, but I think Joe Newton was in there to clear the ball very quickly away. And Chippenham are going to have their, themselves their first corner kick of this match. And wow, I think Ross Warner had his heart in his mouth when he's dropped that ball there. Chippenham having a corner kick. I can't exactly see who's gone over to take it. I think it might be Jordan Young. Might be Alfie Santos, actually, who's gone over. I think it is Santos who's going to deliver this ball in. It's a ball. Richards heads high. Dabre chests the ball down in towards the penalty area. He's come back out. Santos is going to think about a cross now. Santos looks to challenge Newton. Newton does just about get there. Dabre with the challenge. Tom Mayhew still there. Tom Mayhew knocks it in towards Hanks, who actually leaves it in towards Jordan Young. Jordan gets it, but it's a cross that comes in, headed away by Newton. Dabre can't get there, and Clifford looks to keep the ball. Back in towards Duku. Duku clears it only as far as Mayhew, who turns inside of right. Chippenham have the ball in opportunity. Ball in towards our far post. Oh, and Will Richards was sliding there. It was really good work by Tom Mayhew to just take a couple of touches past Tommy Wright and deliver that looping ball into the far post. And Will Richards was sliding in at that far post, but it's just bounced before it could reach the Chippenham number six and gone straight out for a goal kick. Another big chance for Chippenham Town that goes a begging. So, haven't the Waterlooville nil, Chippenham Town made forward by Warner. Hamilton heads away. Santos just about keeps in. Clifford's going to challenge with Santos now. Santos holding off his man really well. This is good work from Alfie. Tom Mayhew now takes nice touches, feeds Young, who plays a quick left-footed ball out towards Greenslade. Greenslade takes a touch, he's got Roberts with him for company. But Russ now, quickly in towards Mayhew, he's got Doku behind him. Here's Mayhew, plays a nice ball looking for Young, takes a touch, Jordan Young for Chippenham Town! Oh my word! Jordan Young, Chippenham lead on Wesley Park! Oh my word! Chippenham are off to seventh position and they are currently in contention! For the Vanarama National League South Playoff Eliminator, the scenes in the away end. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. It was a lovely ball played. Jordan Young, he makes no mistake this time and slots the ball underneath Wash Water. Oh my word, Jordan Young. Brilliant stuff from the number nine. He was calm. He was composed this time. And Jordan Young now gets his eighth goal of the season. Chippenham Town are in the lead. Chippenham Town are in seventh position. I'm sure that would have echoed across West Wiltshire, North West Wiltshire. And Chippenham fans creating such an atmosphere behind the goal. Oh my word. Come out behind your sofas. There's going to be a big, big 20 minutes. But Jordan Young has slotted the ball past. I've seen the entire Chippenham technical staff come running onto the pitch. And Jordan Young, the man who was signed this season from Gloucester City by Mike Cook, has at the minute given Chippenham Town the lead. Looking for Santos, but Newton has to head the ball up straight into the air. Mayhew gets a shove in the back from Payne. Santos then goes down exuberantly, but the referee waves play on. Clifford now. McCarthy coming forward. McCarthy plays it towards Roberts. Roberts on the left hand side. Driving at Will Richards. Lays it off towards Newton. Delivered the ball in. It's off of the chest of Will Richards. Corner kick for Haven and Waterlooville. 13 minutes left to go. As I'm sure you will be able to hear from the fans around me if haven't score here. But Chippenham have been resolute defending so far. Jordan Young has given them the 1-0 advantage on 70 minutes. As Paul Rooney runs off down the tunnel after his substitution. But it's going to be a corner kick to be delivered in for the Hawks. It's in towards that far post. It's bouncing around all over the place. A Haven player has gone down in the area. I'm not sure what has happened down there. I don't think I don't think the player, I think it was the number seven, McCarthy, who went down. He doesn't look to be giving up too much of a protest, so no penalty. It's Jordan Young now for Chippenham Town. He's onside. Jordan Young, is he going to make it two? Yes! Chippenham Town have done it. Surely now they won't falter. Jordan Young at the double. And from agony to ecstasy for Chippenham Town, 
they thought they'd give it away a penalty. The two goals to the good. Jordan Young at the brace. He's celebrating with the fans down there, and down there in the area. Oh my word, Jordan Young. He was in behind disorganisation in the Haven and Waterlooville back line. And he's put that left foot, used that left foot to welly the ball into the top corner of Walsh Warner's goal. And with, I believe, around 10 minutes left now, Chippenham Town can't fall from here, surely. Jordan Young at the double for the Bluebirds, his eighth and ninth goals of the season. 2 0 to Chippenham. And well, Becca, you said you put your laptop on the floor. I'm sure your laptop might be snapped in half now. Drinks gone everywhere. Wow. I didn't even see it coming. There was a, I think it was James McCarthy was down in the penalty area. I'll quickly let you hear the Shippenham fans. There was Jake McCarthy down in the penalty area. And I they were having fans around me claiming for a penalty. It didn't look to be either of them that wanted, it didn't look to be James McCarthy wanting a penalty. And Chippenham have gone down straight down the other end and make haven't make haven't pay the price. This is a day that will live long in the memory for every bluebird listening and who's made the journey down to Hampshire. Here comes Roberts. Ball played forward, looking towards pain. And it's certainly pain and heartache for Haven and Waterlooville at the minute. Here comes Pasley. Pasley has to deliver. Pasley in towards Payne. Pasley has been overrun. It's missed now towards Clifford on the edge. Clifford does he think about a strike, gives it to Hamilton. Chippenham win the ball back. Bradbury coming forward now. Jordan Young, the man who has given Chippenham Town three crucial points. Gives the ball now to Bradbury down in the corner. Dale Wharton looks at his watch. Surely 30 seconds left. Ball back in. Now, the number 35, Andrews. He was on loan at Chippenham. He moved to bigger and better things. And at the minute, he's moving to finish eighth as opposed to finishing seventh. Kieran Parcell puts two arms in the air. He knows it's there. The Chippenham Town players surely know it's there. It's in the bag. Santos puts his arm up for the ball. Greenslade has it, running down the clock. Greenslade kicks the ball just out of play. Off a haven't player. Chippenham have themselves a throw in. Surely, seconds remain. Three points at Wesley Park is what we were ordered to do in the week. Full time at Wesley Park! Chippenham Town are in the playoffs! The final day works again for Chippenham Town and they have done it. Three points were needed, two goals were scored, one man has done it. Chippenham Town have done it. I cannot believe it. 59 points, 40 games, two points the difference. I cannot believe it. It's Jackman Jordan Young. I misquoted in the week saying he'd scored his eighth goal of the season. Must have been a good luck charm because he's bagged his eighth and his ninth today. Luke Russ, Joe Hag's going to celebrate with the fans. This is what we enjoy football for. The West Country regains its pride. Chippenham Town of Wiltshire fame of the West Country are in the top seven of the National League. It feels horrible for Haven and Waterloo. 40 games and they've, they've dropped it at the final hurdle. I don't think Haven played badly. Jordan Young was just the crucial man. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I've had, a th I've had some notes prepared all week. We are going up down in the corner. This is sending shivers down my spine. I hope, I hope I can get across how much this means to everyone at Chippenham Town. A club run by volunteers has done it. Jordan Young has scored two goals in the final match of the season to turn the tide for the Bluebirds. Wow. Wow. I'm not sure, Matt. You said your voice was going. You've been here. You've been here well over most of your life. And this is a first, so this means a hell of a lot more to you than to most. What words do you have to say, my son? I, <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm speechless right now. I've got tears in my eyes. 
it, feel, it feels embarrassing to say I'm on the verge of tears here, but the amount of effort that every one of the club has put into this, I can't believe I'm saying this. Scenes down in the away end. My word. Kieran Parcells leading the team in the celebrations. I've just seen media recruit for next year. Sam Hart saying, come on, lads. Jordan Young gets a big bear hug from Matt Coop. Olay is from Chippenham Town. They have a right to celebrate. They have a right to party. They have made the Vanarama National League South playoff positions for this season. Well, I'd just like to, I'd like to thank everyone at the club. Personally, and I'm gonna, I'd like to thank every Chippenham Town player who's played in the local league this season. I will list them all out.